What's up YouTube guys, it's me again, Sorgi Pro. Welcome to our video today. I wanna share with you how I make Windows 10 lighter and faster. Every time I install Windows 10 on computers, I do this one, it helps a lot. We all know that Windows 10 is the worst operating system, or let's just say the most hated operating system Microsoft has ever released because of bugs, it's low and sluggish, privacy issues, security issues, the list goes on and on. The support for Windows 7 just ended last January. Most of those users have already migrated to Windows 10. You might be one of them. You might probably be running Windows 10 on those older hardware or lower end specification hardwares, experiencing right now that Windows 10 is slower compared to Windows 7. Of course, the best way you can speed up your Windows 10 is simply upgrade your hardware or buy a new computer. But what if you do not have that capability? What if you don't have budget for that computer? So this tutorial might help you as well because I've been using this one for a long time. So join me and let's do it. This is my Windows 10 computer. There's basically nothing installed in it because it's a fresh install. Just after the installation, this is what I have. Okay, that's my computer. I don't like using Microsoft Edge. I don't know why. I just like using Brave or Google Chrome or Mozilla. But for the sake of the tutorial, since this is the only browser I have here, I'm just going to go here and say Windows 10 Debloater. And I'll put the link on the description below, don't you worry guys. Let's just go ahead and click this. You might be asking, what is a debloater? A debloater is a, a, a software or a script that was created by somebody or someone else out there that can automatically remove those unnecessary softwares that were included with Windows 10. These softwares are basically slowing down your computer, eating much of the resources instead of being used to other programs. So as we scroll down here, there are these steps or procedures that are listed here that you can do, but you can just go ahead and do the way I do it and it will work as well. So go ahead and click clone or download download zip and that's going to basically save this this only around um, kind of less than 5 MB so don't worry about how big the file is so it's done already I'll just go ahead and open folder minimize this one we have this um, Windows 10 debloater already I'm just going to um, extract all extract Okay, so we have it here inside. You can use this Windows 10 Debloater or use this GUI. Uh, we can use the GUI so that it, it would be much easier to do it. Just go ahead and type here PowerShell and Windows PowerShell will come up. Right click it and run as administrator. Of course, yes. Go ahead and open Windows 10 Debloater GUI. Open. I'll copy all of this control A control C once I have copied that I'll go here and just paste it like that all right and then I'll just enter and it's doing something so it will come up with this um, GUI here now if you don't want the GUI you can use the other one but I think this will be much easier to follow so I'll just close this Where's the GUI? Where did you go? There you go. So customize blacklist. These are the options you can do. You can click this and this will show up all the things that you can customize here. Like installed all users online. You're going to remove all those ones. Well, yeah, you know, there's a lot of things you need to read there. Now, just go ahead and for me, I always do remove all bloatware. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove all the bloatwares click this one and you can see the PowerShell working in the background here there you go it's doing something let's just wait and basically you're not going to do anything here so wait up wait up All right disabling task unpinning tiles come on there's a lot of things this script is doing for us rather than doing it manually. So it says here, finish all tasks. 
I'll close this. There are other options we can do, like optional changes and fixes. I, if you don't like Cortana, just go ahead and disable that. So you can see there, Cortana has been disabled. Stop Edge Takeover. This is the PDF. I don't like that Edge browser. Do you use OneDrive? I don't like OneDrive, so I'll just uninstall OneDrive. Uninstalling OneDrive, please wait. Okay, stopping Explorer. It's got removing OneDrive from Windows Explorer. Oh, cool! Bravo, bravo! OneDrive has been successfully uninstalled. Yes! Next, you can also go ahead and enable dark mode, like mine. Enabling dark mode, enabled. Let me see. Huh. Is my dark mode enabled? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's dark already. So that's cool, man. You can also install Net 3.5. That's it. And just after that, I'll just remove this Microsoft Store here. I don't use that one. I don't also use uh, Microsoft Edge email. It's up to you if you want to remove for me. I don't need that. Uh, so I'll go to my start menu and try to check the styles. Yeah, it's uh, minimal what we have here. That's just about it, guys. This Windows 10 Debloater thing has been working for me for a very long time already every time I install Windows 10. And if you think there are other ways you can make uh, Windows 10 faster that is better than what I have showed you, feel free to comment it down below, share it to everybody so that everyone who's going to watch this video can learn from it as well. That's all for today guys and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Goodbye and see you next time.